Hi guys, I'm Rival. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to set up Vagrant using Laravel Homestead. But before attempting this tutorial, please have a basic understanding of Vagrant. Have Vagrant installed along with VirtualBox. So what are we going to discuss in this tutorial? First I'll go through what Homestead is, then we'll use Composer to create a new Laravel project for us. Then again, using Composer, we will require Laravel Homestead. We will set it up and we'll get our Laravel project up and running. So what is Laravel Homestead? Laravel Homestead is a vagrant box. It's commonly referred to as just plain Homestead. A vagrant box is a pre-packaged development environment a system which already has multiple software packages installed. So it's pretty much like a template for Vagrant. So what software does it include for you? Well, it includes Ubuntu, Nginx as your web server, PHP, MySQL, and other stuff as well. So it's pretty much set up for Laravel. So why should you be using Homestead? Well, it saves time in creating a new Vagrant environment, it keeps the environment for you and your team identical and is maintained by Laravel devs for Laravel devs. You can even see this screenshot from GitHub that has a commit history of Taylor Otwell himself committing to the project. So in my opinion, it's really useful. You know, you can have your own scripts to set up your environment. That's fine. But, you know, you don't have to use it. You can have your own scripts that set up your vagrant boxes, like using the after.sh file. But if, you know, this is sort of tweaked specifically for Laravel and I would recommend using it, you can then make your own tweaks to the existing environment, of course, if your production or testing servers vary. So how to install Laravel Homestead? You can install it globally by adding the Vagrant box or per project. I suggest you install it per project and you can do this with Composer. So the reason why you would, uh, benefit from having it in a per project basis is because there are certain configuration files that sit globally. Now, if you do it on a per project basis, those configuration files go per project. And if you want to tweak those configurations, you have the ability do to do so without it affecting any other one of your projects. Okay, guys, so let's try to set this up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new Laravel project. And what we need to do is actually first go to the directory and I keep everything in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to run composer, create project, and we prefer dist. Of course, we want Laravel, Laravel, and we are going to call this project, let's just say, Reval test. Okay. And let's hit enter on that. What Composer is going to do is just go and grab the Laravel project and put it in a directory called Reval test. So what I'm going to do is just skip this here since it can take some time. Okay, guys, so I've skipped ahead. And as you can see, the only thing that's happened here is that the Composer create project command has finished run. So, okay, so um, what we expect to see is our project Reval test. Great. So now if we ls, we should see our Laravel project. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do composer require, I can spell require right, require Laravel homestead. And we're going to save that as a dev dependency. So this shouldn't take too long. It's just going to go ahead and grab Laravel homestead and it's going to save it in our composer.json under the dev dependency section. Okay, so just after this, it should be done. Okay, let's use Vim to take a look at our composer.json. And in our required dev section here, you can see we have Laravel Homestead. So great. So we're going to just quit. So we have our new Laravel project and we have Homestead. Now let's just make sure that the files are there. Fender and laravel homestead and of course we have our files just going to clear that up now to run homestead what we can do is go to vendor bin homestead and what this should do is show us the options and available commands 
um, what we need is the make command. It says install homestead into the current project. That's what we want to do. So we're going to do vendor bin and homestead. And then we're going to run the make command. And there we go, homestead is installed. So we just clear this up again. List. So now you can notice we have a opta.sh file. Um, we should have a homestead.yaml and a vagrant file. So that means things are coming together now. So what we should be doing here is vi. So we're just going to use vim and we're going to take a look at our homestead.yaml file. You can see it um, sets the IP for the box, the amount of memory it's going to use for the RAM. And um, another important thing is SSH key. Um, so down here, folders, map, we have C sites reval test. That's where our Laravel project is. And what it's going to do is map that folder to folder, a folder called home vagrant code. The next thing here is that there's a URL called homestead.app. And that's going to go to home vagrant code and public. So the public, the public directory of our Laravel app. And um, to access that, we just need to go to our browser and go to homestead.app. So let's just exit them. So the next thing we need to do here is actually generate our SSH key. So it is SSH dash keygen and dash T RSA dash C. And we're just going to do any old email address here. Reval at test.com. Hit enter. This is going to generate our public private RSA key. Hit enter. Yes, because I already have one there. That's fine. And we're just going to enter that. That's all good. So that should be done for us. And we're just going to clear. And now what we can finally do is run Vagrant up. Right. So Vagrant up, when you run it for the first time, Usually it does take a few moments. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip ahead. All right, guys. So as you can see, the vagrant up command has just completed. Please note it says creating site homestead.app, restarting nginx. So um, another important thing here is it says creating MySQL database homestead. So um, if you noticed, I didn't actually point it out, but in the homestead.yaml, you actually define the name of the database you're going to create. So uh, that's done. And what we can do is vagrant SSH. So we should be able to go into the box now. And there you go. Clear that just to make it easier. So you can see we have code. If we go inside code, oops, and ls, you can see we have our Laravel. You can see we have our Laravel project. Now, there's one more thing we need to do. So if we exit out, what we need to do is actually modify the hosts file on our local machine, not the vagrant box, but on our machine. And uh, we just need to point to that domain. Now, um, just to let you know, I'm using Windows and um, I opened my terminal as an admin. So what I did was, um, it's, it's just git bash. So you right click, run as admin. If you're working on Ubuntu or Mac, uh, so Linux or Mac, what you may have to do is run this command with sudo so you have right access to the file. So for me, all I need to do is just run v and c windows system32 and then drivers etc host. Great, so here's my host file. Um, if you notice down here, I have 192.168.10.10. That's straight from the homestead.yaml. And then I have homestead.app. Now that's what you need to add. I've already got it here. So I'm just going to quit. So that should be done. And if we're lucky, all we have to do is go to Chrome or go to your browser. And we got to visit homestead.app. And there we go. So we have our Laravel project up and running. So you can see it there. And it really is that simple to set up Homestead, get your Laravel project up and running really quickly. And the great thing is it's community driven. So if there's issues, you can go online, you can get help. There's plenty of resources out there. So um, I really recommend using this. It is just so quick to get up and running. So I really hope you learned a lot by watching this tutorial. So um, Actually, maybe there's one more thing I can add here 
If you need to access the databases, all you need to do is load up your favorite SQL client and connect using hostname localhost, username is homestead, and password is secret. So once again, guys, I hope you really learned a lot here and thanks for watching.